Hey, mate, and welcome to Satisfactory with me, Jenny. Today, I want to cover the different transportation methods inside Satisfactory. Everything from the slow, like driving around manually, all the way to the fast, like teleporters, and more important, well, the, the cheaper way you can teleport around the map with trains. But before I get to that, I want to ask a very, very important question. Of course, the very important question being, well, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like on the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't want to find out how you can teleport your trains across the map, then by all means, you can have your like back. Let's talk about different ways we can get around the map. Let's start off with, uh, well, of the basics. Uh, we have, of course, the tractor, the sugar cube. It gets you around, it gets you A to B. It has a couple of advantages that are that being, well, it's a little bit faster than running around manually. Uh, the catch is you're a little bit exposed on the outside. Uh, then, of course, we have the bigger brother, the big boy truck. Uh, the big advantage of the big boy truck is at least means you're inside the cab which means in theory you're a little bit safer. It's a little bit slower. Of course, then we have the Explorer. The Explorer, technically you're on the inside, mostly, but the most important thing about the Explorer is the better fuel you put in there, the quicker it drives. Also, it will climb up a hill pretty much straight up the air. Uh, our next option, of course, is, well, the factory car. The factory car, which is good for just about nothing, but technically it does get you around. Of course, if you manage to finish the game, um, you can also have your factory car in gold instead because, well, of course you can. Yeah, um... It goes places and does things. And also has, um, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna leave that one there. That is definitely an option to get around. Yeah. Oh boy, I broke it. Shh, okay. All right, uh, other transportation methods. Of course, early game, very early in the game, you managed to get the jump pad. The jump pad is a good way to get around, sort of. And I've brought a, a victim to help me test this. Yeah. It's mainly used for verticality. Not so much for getting distance. Yeah, it works. It works perfectly well. Uh, it does come with the other half of the combination, which eventually we'll land on, which is the jelly pad. The jelly pad is helpful in the fact that it sort of saves you when you're falling from any sort of distance. But as you can see, uh, for the short run of there to there, I could probably run that distance in the time it takes me to bounce that distance. Very helpful if you're going up and down. If you're going up and down the factory, it's a wonderful way to get up and down. I should also mention that you probably got coal power at this stage, so um, something you need to consider is these use power even when they're doing nothing. The next option you have in the game is, uh, if I swap to the right port, is, well, uh, the hypertube. The hypertube is a good way to get around if you need to get around in a hurry. And actually, we just have a hypertube support, and then if I plug a hypertube in there, and then I throw, you know, just a little bit of power at that end, and find a blank power pole, this is also very helpful, but um, it's going to be a little bit faster than the bounce pad method, also much faster than the vehicle method. And the best part about the hypertube is you can run it to just about anywhere in the factory to take you into exactly where you want to go. But you've got another option when it comes to the hypertube, and um, that is the hypertube cannon. To make a hypertube cannon, we start with a hypertube support. Let me move forward a little bit and put down another hypertube support, another hypertube support, another hypertube support. You can see where we're going with this. And then we get just a little bit of our tube and join the two together. Uh, join the next two together. Join. The next two together, uh, make sure that we put a, a hypertube entrance on every second one of them, and then, well, we remove every um, other exit, and again, add a bit of power there, to there, to there, and plug you into something. Last thing you want to do is, you know, pick a direction, pick a direction you want to travel, and we can do that with, well, one more entrance. Uh, can I please have my tube? Thank you. My tube in spaghetti mess. Uh, let's go to there. Let's go up a little bit. Come on. Come on, tube. Come on, tube. There you go. Noodle shape. Uh, look, just let's just go high up in the world. Uh, and then that one's going to need power as well. Add that to the power network, which should have a free power wire somewhere. Yep. Build yourself a little cannon. Little cannon takes you up, takes you down, takes you all over the place. Eventually, I'll come back down. Of course, there is the other option. The other option for hypertube cannons, and that is, well, the big brother. I'm using biofuel. That's not the best choice, but okay. Um, the other choice is, well, big cannons. Big cannons that make you go faster. Uh, can I make sure we're using uh, rocket fuel? Rocket fuel. Yeah, cool. Big tubes go long distances. Of course, if you need to have a tube pre-equipped, pre-ready to go, uh, there will be a blueprint, which will be on my Discord, of course. The hypertube cannon gets you going long places very quickly. Sure, there's a little bit of aiming involved. There may or may not be a death or two when you first, you first run through the map. Uh, also, if you apply too much acceleration, stopping could be an issue. Hence why there's a jello pad at this end. 
Because jelly pads save you. Doesn't matter the height you're falling from. You should survive. You should land without any damage whatsoever. And you're perfectly fine. Super late game. Super late game you can get uh, the satellite. The satellite portals. Uh, well, the portals in two different types. Uh, we have transportation. We have our satellite portal. Also our main portal. Main portal requires you to be powered. And also requires you to add some fuel to it. The satellite portal just requires to be plugged in the power network. Very, very good for getting around late game definitely gets you a to be very very quickly but as i said it does require a significant amount of power 250 megawatts also requires you put in singularity cells two per minute and um they're not exactly cheap to make the last option the one i actually prefer the most is um well teleporting trains teleporting trains is definitely an interesting way to get around the map and uh you can be putting them together very very early in the game also they don't require two singularity cells and a bunch of power so to make a teleporting train uh, of course we need a blueprint designer uh, because we need to blueprint something that's simple, very, very simple, to make sure we can um, get around the map. So we're going to have a tiny bit of train track, just a little bit, and then a little bit more train track. That's all we need, just a little bit of train track. Uh, we need to save this. We're going to call this new blueprint because, of course, we're gonna, it's very descriptive, and then delete the blueprint. Now we've done that, we need to grab said blueprint, and uh, I need to put this, well, inside the blueprint machine and outside the blueprint machine. Right about there should work. Main thing is I need to make sure that arrow's on the outside. I stumbled on this a little while ago whilst I was building uh, the train tracks, the train mm, the train T-junction, and also, well, I actually didn't get a roundabout built, but I, I shared some train blueprints, and I stumbled about upon this at the same time, and then I need to remove that track that's on the inside. If I do that, and it says uh, the blueprint has no cost because there is no blueprint, uh, then you've built it correctly. Now all I need to do is, well, I need to have just a little bit of track on the inside, which we're going to save as train teleport and save that blueprint. And then hopefully you can have your friend at the other end put that back down. And then if I remove that and I remove the blueprint designer, well, then I have a bit of track sitting here doing nothing. And if I build a little bit of track and build a little bit more track, and throw a train on it well that track ends there except it's connected to the other half of the blueprint the other half of the blueprint that can now be placed anywhere on the map now if you're planning on driving a train through here on automatic i've got bad news for you it definitely won't work but on manual driving if you wish to jump in a train and just manually drive through and off the edge of the track then you're going to end up well if all goes well at the other end of the train track oh look here, look, other end of the map, instantly. Um, definitely the cheapest way to get around, definitely the cheapest transport method I can think of, and the best part is, well, you could drive back at any time. Yeah, yeah, the, the game might have a heart attack when you do so. Also, if your friend removes that bit of track at the other end, and can I get out of my train, please? Uh, and I take that blueprint and, oh, Yep, flight mode, please. Uh, blueprint. And I... Where are we? Put down train teleport at this end. And then uh, throw a brand new train on it. Enough space on track? Fine. Uh, ooh. Which is the front? Let's do that again. Because I can't remember which, which end's the front. I do recommend that you definitely put some sort of curve, some sort of direction on the track. So you know which end is the front, which end is the rear. The arrow, the end closest to the arrow should be the... Air end of the track that's linked back to the original track should be should be but if i dry, jump on this train and i'm out in the wilderness and you've got a teleporting track back at home then you should be able to come back home very quickly sure if you have to leave another train on the line bad things might, might happen but the important thing is you've made it back to home very quickly uh, but with all that said and done this are my transportation methods my cheapest transportation methods the fastest transportation methods if you're interested in uh, my little hypertube cannon well as i said the blueprints are on my discord if you're interested in getting your very own well golden cup or golden factory cart uh, i'll tell you the quickest way to get them and that is to take a normal cup and put it through the awesome sink after you finish the game, you need to finish the game first, and that'll let you unlock the Golden Cup. Once you have the Golden Cup, you can then take the Golden Cup and put that through the sink, and then you can unlock, well, the Golden Factory Cup, which, like I said, is completely useless, but you gotta have one. You gotta have one. You know you want one, and I also want to know, can I drive that through a teleporter without the game exploding? No. Cool. Factory cars can't teleport. Anyway, with all that said and done, I'm going to call this video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you found these different transportation methods very helpful. And as always, I'll see you in the very next video. Thank you for watching.